Hello guys, so today we'll be doing question number seven, uh, question number six for this paper one. Uh, the question says, uh, let me just get this started up, started up first, and okay, so the question says, the line with gradient minus two passing through point P and x coordinate is three T, y coordinate is two T, intersects at the, C, the x axis at A and the y axis at B. So we have to find the uh, area of the triangle AOB in terms of T. So the first step to do this is to of course find the coordinates. For if you have a triangle AOB, A or this should probably would be O, B. Of course you need to find the, the coordinates of each of these vertices. That way you can find the base and you can find the height and this is exactly what we need uh, because uh, remember area of a triangle is half base times height squared so it, this is why we need these three uh, these three coordinates and um, to, to do that we need to find uh, well we know that uh, point P okay find the area of triangle Oh, it intersects the x-axis at A and the y-axis at um, B. So if we draw it properly, let's say, um, so if this is x, this is y-axis, this is x-axis, and it intersects at, uh, for example, say A and this, this is point A, let's say, and B. And this is exactly what we need, this triangle right here, and, and this is what we need to find. Uh, yeah okay and this um, then this will be the height uh, which is the y coordinate of b and this will be the base and that is the x coordinate of a uh, okay so the information uh, so we then we need to find the equation of this line in order to find these two coordinates but the information given is that the gradient which is say m is equal to minus 2 and note that the gradient is minus 2, which is why the shape of the line is this way. Um, otherwise, if the gradient is positive, then it would be that way. So, um, just to keep note on that. Um, so, the equation of a linear line is given by m x plus b. b is a constant. So, the next step now is to you, to input the in the boundary conditions or the, uh, the coordinates that have been given to us so we f we know that it is a gradient of minus 2 and it passes through point P so we at point P the y coordinate is equal to 2t is equal to minus 2 times x coordinate of it which is 3t times B so plus B And that it leaves us with b is equal to then that's 6t plus 2t 8t. So the final equation is minus 2x plus 8t. Okay, so let's go to the next page. So y is equal to minus 2t. Oh no, sorry, that's minus 2x because the the gradient is uh, minus 2 plus 8t let's just check yeah that's right and we need to find the coordinates of point A and point B at point A it crosses the x-axis and that we means at x-axis y is equal to 0 and we simply plug that into the that line equation to get us 0 is equal to minus 2x plus 8t um, solving this in terms of t will give us x is equal to 4t and that means that it intersects at and that means the coordinate of a here is equal is 4t 0 okay and the next step now is to find the coordinates of b and that is it that intersects y axis at y axis 
x is equal to 0, not y, x is equal to 0, and we plug that into the equation, which just leaves us with uh, y equal to 8t, and the coordinate of b is therefore 0, 8t. So in this triangle, in this triangle, we have 0, 0, 4, t, 0, and 0, 8, t. And from the height here is the y coordinate of this, this point, minus the y coordinate of this point to get us the height. So uh, let's do it do that properly. So the height is equal to the y coordinate of actually yeah um, the y coordinate of b minus y coordinate of o and that's just 8t. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive because the area that we're looking for is a magnitude. So if we if it so happens that it's negative, it then it's still the, the same. Doesn't really matter as long as you get um, the final area to be well, you, as long as you get the magnitude of the area. And now we need to find the base. In the same principle, the base is x of a minus x of o, and that is simply for t. And the area is equal to half base times height. And that's just 8t times 4t, that is 32t squared divided by 2, 16t squared. And that should be the area of, and that's the first answer to part i. For part i, i, it asks us to show that the midpoint of PC lies on the line of y is equal to x. Okay, let's uh, think about this problem. Uh, we need to show that the midpoint um, so the first step would be to obviously to calculate the midpoint because uh, we, since we have the line the equation of the line of um, and we know point P and we know point where where is he oh the line through P per, the line through P perpendicular to AB intersects the axis at C x axis at C Ah, so the first step is actually to find the coordinate of C. And then, okay, let's, um, let me say this again. So the step C will be to find the coordinates of C. The next step is to find uh, the, the line, oh, the, um, the, to find the midpoint of P and C. And we have the point P and we have the point C. And it's quite simple to find the midpoint. And then see if it lies on the um, on the line of y is equal to x. Okay, and that's just shown if we have the coordinates of the midpoint, then we just plug that into the equation and see if it's a if it's right. Okay, or otherwise just um, see that the x coordinate is the same as the y coordinate. Uh, in any case, in any ways, um, in any case, let's move on. So. The information is that the, so we have line AB. So we had line AB like this, and now we have a per point perpendicular, uh, a perpendicular line. Inters a perpendicular. It's let's say P. It's um, around here, around P here, and at this point, there's a perpendicular line. And it passes th through x-axis, and this point right here is C. So let's find the f uh, equation for that line, that this line, um, the perpendicular line. So, the, so if we have t one line, what is that? No, okay, no. If we have a line with gradient, with a certain gradient, let's say we have a line m m one with uh, we have a line with gradient m one. And we have a um, a line of gradients m2. The product of those gradients is negative one. We know that the 
<coughs> we know from line 1 has a gradient of negative 2 and that means that we know that the gradient of the second line is half so minus 1 over minus 2 that's half using the same principle we have y is equal to mx plus b and we know that it passes through point p and if I'm not mistaken, that's 2t, plugging in the conditions, 2t is equal to half times 3t and plus b. And if, so that is 2t minus 1.5t, that is, that leaves b with 0.5t or, or half t. Okay, and... Um, so we have the equation y is equal to half x plus half t and then then they say it inter they say it intersects the x axis at intersects x axis at x axis y is equal to 0 plugging in the this into the equation we get x is equal to well, let, let's do it properly. 0 half x plus half t and that's just x is equal to minus t. Okay, so the x coordinate is minus t. And, and we know that the y coordinate is equal to 0. Now, what we need to do, okay, so c, the coordinate of c is minus t is 0 and what we need to do now is to find the midpoint of p and c so equation of the midpoint so midpoint the, um, for x coordinate um, so the midpoint is x this, um, in, you don't, it doesn't matter which order you do it so xp plus xc over 2 and yp plus yc over 2. So that means that x, we had xp to be 3t minus t over 2 and we have 2t plus 0 over 2. And solving this, we get uh, 3 minus 2 is 3 minus t, 3t minus t is 2t, 2t divided by 2 is t, and t. Okay, and how do we know that this lies on the y equal to x? So if it's simple, really, if we just plug one of these. So, at, so if we have the line y equal to x, we, we pick the coordinate we pick the uh, we pick t as the x coordinate and plug here into this equation, and that's just well really t. So y coordinate is t, and x coordinate is three t, and t is equal to t. That means that the equation is satisfied. Is satisfied, and that is really all there is to it. And let's just check the marking scheme in case we miss anything. Uh, this is a matter of verification. Uh, that was question 6, uh, yeah. And area was, uh, I think we had 16t, I'm not sure. Yep, we, have t we had 16 t squared as the area. And midpoint is tt. And this lies on the line like y is equal to x. So that's all there is to question number 6. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time for question number 7. Thanks for watching.